evil dreamer Awake unto me Starlights and dewdrops Are waiting for thee Hot dog, get your hot dog here Are you coming? Get your hot dog here Hot dog Hot dog Right here Enjoy the game. What are you doing here? <laughs> nice to see you again, too, boy. Give me a dog. Two mustards. Like mine, spicy. So, you're still passing the hot, keeping the home front in hot potatoes, are you? That'll be two bucks, old man. You wouldn't be feeding the wayward brother with all that extra dough, huh, would you? Just new here in town. My effort, brother. Been in the sun too long. His name's Ryan Garrett. And if you've done him any favors, you've done the cause a huge big harm. Since when have you been so concerned about the cause, huh? I'm concerned about people's lives. Just like the good sisters taught me to be. But Garrett has taken lives, cops' lives. Not to mention the Irishman that he murdered when he busted out of Castle Glee. Irishman. Hmm. What Irishman? Check it out, why don't you? I'm out of mustard. I'll be back. <laughs> Here's your mustard. Yeah, he likes his skins. Be sure to get the bastard one for me, eh? Yeah? Be a pleasure. Hot dog, guys! The two pigs! Do you remember the story? No. Shall I tell it to you? No. It'll pass the time. <laughs> Two thieves crucified at the same time as our saviour. One Our what? Our saviour. Two thieves. One is supposed to be saved and the other... Damned. Saved from what? Hell. I'm going. And yet, who is it? This is not boring, I hope. Ah. Who is it? that of the four evangelists, only one speaks of a thief being saved. All four of them are there, or thereabouts, and yet only one speaks of a thief being saved. Oh, come on, Gogo, return the ball, can't you, once in a while? Ah, I find this really most extraordinarily interesting. One night, as he sat at his table, head on hands, he saw himself rise and go. One night or day, for when his own light went out, he was not left in the dark. Light of a kind came then from the one high window, under it still the stool on which till he could or would no more ease to mount to see the sky. Why he did not crane out to see what lay beneath was perhaps because the window was not made to open, or because he could or would not open it. As rest after all they did. <laughs> Lift his past head a moment to see his past hands, then lay it back on them to rest it too. <gasps> after all, it's dead. Oh. And when you come to the end of a perfect day and you sit alone with your thoughts while the chimes ring out with a carol gay for the joy that they has brought do you think what the end of a perfect day can mean to a time With a flaming rain And the dear friends have to part 
I first became familiar with Samuel Beckett's work when as a young lad of 18, I was fortunate enough to be cast in the part of Lucky in the production of Waiting for Godot at Dublin's famed Gate Theatre. It was as if a gap within me was being filled, a gap that I had never even realised existed, and one which I then was, and still am, unable to articulate. To play Beckett is to feel exalted. It is to be wholly realised in an undefinable sort of way. It is a celebratory, dark and joyous journey, an experience that is almost religious. Now that he is gone, there is a void within me that I don't think could ever be filled. But at least I am grateful that the words remain. I hope that you are too. And so, therefore, in a way, just the heart and soul of Samuel Beckett himself. Body. 
even all 